A lot of the native edibles available in the Sonoran Desert are a summer harvest, but in winter, barrel cactus fruit are plentiful. So let's cook with them. Here I am picking a few at the living lab. First, you're going to want to give them a quick rinse off. Then you're going to put them on a cutting board and size them up for a bit. Get comfortable with your ingredient. You're going to want to slice off the top where the flower was. Then you're going to want to slice them in half lengthwise. Here are the seeds. They're still edible. You can scoop them out if you want. I wasn't super careful about it because I like a crunchy texture. Then I poured them into a pot of albondigas, a Mexican stew, which I also happen to conveniently be planning to make. I simmered them with the albondigas for about 25 minutes. You can also dehydrate or dry the barrel cactus fruit before using it, but I decided to go in fresh. Mmm, albondigas. Overall, the texture was a perfect component to the other vegetables in the dish. You know, carrots and potatoes can get real soft. So the barrel cactus fruit was a nice surprise. It's very tender inside, but it has a nice chew on the skin side. Kind of tastes like maybe simmered chili or similar to how okra would taste in a soup. Really, really good component. I would do it again. 10 out of 10.